Welcome to my fish room. Blue tang. It's another large blue tang. And this is what they call an extra large naso tang. In here we got a porcupine puffer. And here we got a leer tail grouper. Red, white on the bottom. They're good for fish only tanks. They eat things that they can get into their mouth. Okay, now we got some cutesy guys. Personality Plus. This is a toad fish. They eat whatever they can get into their mouth and they have a big mouth. They don't bug anybody. They're kind of primitive looking. They walk around on their fins, stuff like that. There's another one in here. Ah. Uh, you snooze, you lose. Gotta get him another one. They didn't have any more big pieces, so... Come on, hoover them back. Okay. Then here is a strawberry basslet. One strawberry to a tank. The one behind him is a cherub fish. It's in the tank next to him, actually. It's not in the same tank. You can see the powder brown there in the tank behind. It's got the nice uh, yellow. Then in here we got some uh, green chromis, sergeant majors. Jet black cardinals. I think we already showed you these ones. Okay, we got this far before. Uh, domino, no. Sergeant maid, not. Bo Gregory, damsels. Calico crab, and that there is a small banded puffer. Eat shrimp, good with fish, a little nippy. And there we got a green striped hermit crab. In here we have a striped cardinal. And we also have a, so that's the striped cardinal. And then there is a bashful crab. See how he's got his claws in front of his face? He's not biting me. Okay, then we got a yellow clown goby and another uh, banded puffer. Then we got a Randall's goby. And you guys have heard about the relationship between the Randall's goby and the Randall's pistol shrimp. Okay, right now, that guy's in copper, this guy's not, that's why he's there. Normally he's over in that system there, but I put him in a clean container so you guys could see him. Okay, that's the cherub fish, there's another uh, yellow clown goby, and there's a little file fish. Let's throw some food in there and get him out. Wild fish is hiding right now. I don't know how they know the camera's on. Somehow. Okay. Get some more brine shrimp. These are firefish gobies. They're very active, very peaceful really good for a reef tank. They hang out together. Easy to look after. Very uh, easy to get to eat. Everything like that. Just always make sure they're quarantined because they will get ick. And then in here we got another spotted uh, hawkfish.
perches on things. He'll eat shrimp. Sometimes they even start to eat hermit crabs, so you got to watch the small hermit crabs. Okay, what else did we not show you? There's the big land crab again. Got a bit of fresh water. Cherry shrimp, cherry shrimp. Hospital tank. We've got an anemone with a hole in it, so we put it in the hospital tank. Leather, ja leather jackets. They eat the Aptasia anemones. I don't know if I said this before because I did a different video on the camera. Batteries died and then I had to do the video again. And You never remember which video you did telling which. Valentini puffer. Bumblebee shrimp. There's one right there. As you can see, they're not very big. They're more for a nano tank. Like if you want a tank on your desk, not very big. And then the powder brown, fox face. That's a, a unicorn tank in the middle. Trigger fish. Clown trigger fish. Hama hama nuka nuka apu aha. Well, hama hama trigger. Bo Gregory Damsel, Versa Trigger, Pink Tail Trigger, and there's a Niger Trigger in there. Well, there's two of them. There's a Niger Trigger. Dark, dark, dark blue one. Okay, in here we have Sexy Shrimp. They won't let me say sexy on the Kijiji ad, so I put in Thor Amboinensis. But they wave their tail around if you have them in groups. If you have them singly, apparently they don't wave their tail as much. And then in here, we have an anemone shrimp. See them right there on the lip of the uh, sponge filter. Okay, there you can see them better. They're the ones that live on the anemone. You need to have them in a peaceful tank. You know, little clown gobies, firefish, anemone, anemone shrimp. You can keep them in with a little sexy shrimp. They were on the front cover of the fish magazine last month. See how they wave their tail? And down here we got the green camel shrimp let's get you out to the front also called the sauron shrimp well they hang on too I just phoned somebody Oh, I called my house. That's a good place to call. Hortensia is there. She's fun to talk to. Okay, and then we got a little crab. I really don't know what kind of crab he's. She comes in with a live rock. And we got a banded coral shrimp. Coral banded shrimp, we call them here. Blue lobster. The clamps. Well, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. We got some feather dusters and mushrooms and stuff. Oh, there's a little uh, camel shrimp. It's hard to see him. He's right beside the long spine urchin. They're white and, well, they're red with white stripes. Then there's some Nasirius the now. This tank's just getting cycled. Uh, I don't know if I told you on this video or the one that died. Put the Rotifers in it yesterday. Lots of seashells. This is where we keep the hermit crabs. Nice green stripe. Brine shrimp hatching. 
Okay, so that's about what we got right now. So they're out of quarantine, ready to sell, and uh, we're going to get another order real soon, and then we're heading to Florida again. All right, bye-bye.